Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is on similar triangles. Now, similar triangles have uh, corresponding angles that are equal and corresponding sides that are proportional. So if this angle here is 35 degrees, then this angle would be 35 degrees. This angle here is 27 degrees, then this angle has to be 27 degrees. That's when you have a uh, similar triangle. And of course, the angle here has to equal the angle here. And the sides are proportional. So let's say the relationship between these sides is, let's say we have one foot here and D is two feet and let's say that F is um, oh, let's go with 2.5 feet okay <clears throat> and if B then if we know the length of B and it happens to be three feet then A has to be double so this relation here is one to two so A has to be double, it has to be 6 feet. And side F has to be 2.5 times the 3 feet. So the relationship between E and F is that F is 2.5 times as large as E. So 2.5 times 3 is 6, 7.5. And that would be 7.5 feet. Okay, so this, this, the relationships is the same. So here we have a relationship of 2 to 1. This is 2.5 to 1, that sort of thing. And we can set it up as A with respect to D. So A with respect to D, this triangle here. So this side with respect to that side is the same relationship as B with respect to E, which is the same relationship as C with respect to F. So we can set it up in this way. A over D equals B over E, <coughs> excuse me, equals C over F. We could also say, as we've just talked about, that A with respect to B, so this relationship, A with respect to B, has to equal D with respect to E. So, and knowing this, knowing that we have similar triangles, we can use that information to solve questions. Okay? So let's just walk through one. Here we have similar triangles. We're told that psi side A is 21 and also this information, this little squiggly, tells you that these two um, triangles are similar triangles. So A is 21, D is 7, and E is 3. And we're trying to find, or we want to find, side B. So this is our question mark, side B. So notice that we have side A and side B and we're looking for side B, I should say, and we have side D and side E. So this corresponds to this, B corresponds to E, right? So we can then put this together as, let's put B on top, makes it easier to solve. So B with respect to A, so this relationship, has to equal the relationship of E with respect to D. They have to be the same. All right? We know E, we know D, and we know A. With that information, we can solve for B. So let's just set this up. We have B over A, which is 21 which equals E, which is 3, 
over d, which is 7. We're solving for b. So what we do is multiply this side by 21, just so we can get the 21 out of here. But if we multiply on this side by 21, we have to multiply over here by 21. 21 divided by 21 is 1, so we cancel these two, and we're left with 1. b times 1 is b. b equals 3 times 21 divided by 7. Now, 21 divided by 7 is 3, okay? So we're just going to divide top and bottom by 3, we, or a 7, I should say. This is a 3, this is a 1. <clears throat> so we end up with 3 times 3, which is 9. So B should be 9. Okay? So 21, let's just write that down. So 21 with respect to, to B, which is 9. 21 with respect to 9 has to equal 7 with respect to 3, that relationship. So this with respect to this must equal the 7 with respect to 3. Let's see if that's true. <clears throat> if we, um, we ask ourselves what are the top and bottom here both divisible by, so we're going to reduce. They're both divisible by 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So these two are in fact equal and we have solved for B and B is 9. Okay. <clears throat> Next question. So here we have a street map and it's a part of a street map and we're trying to find a dis particular distance which is AB. So we're looking for this distance right here. Okay, so the relationships between this piece and this piece has to equal the relationship between this distance and this distance. Again, they are similar, um, not necessarily similar triangles, but similar relationships. If we turn this into a triangle, right? Okay, this is in fact our triangle, this side, this side with respect to this side has to equal this side with respect to this side. Okay, so then we can say, um, which one's the unknown distance? Okay, A to B. So A to B with respect to 64 has to equal 132 these units are meters so the 132 with respect to the 105 meters so again this distance with respect to this distance has to equal this distance with respect to this one. This is our 105, this is our 64. And that's how we set it up. And our unknown, we've, I've set it up so the unknown's in the numerator so it's a little easier to solve. Okay. Now let's just walk through the steps and solve for AB. I'm going to multiply this side by 64 meters and multiply this side by 64 meters. On this side, 64 meters divided by 64 meters is 1, so they cancel. So we have AB equals 132 meters times 64 meters divided by 105 meters. Our meters will cancel here, so we're left with the units of meters. So now let's just pull out the calculator. So we're taking 132, multiplying it by 64, and divide by 105 equals 80.45. 
I'm just checking my numbers, 132 times 64 divided by 105. Okay, so 80.45. So we end up with 80.45, and that is meters. And let's take a look at our significant figures here. We have three here, three here, and two here. So our answer will have two, and it will be 80 meters. Okay. All right. So that was brought to you by Wise Guys. We're at the Learning Assistance Center of Red River College. And uh, I hope you have a good day. Take care.